Let's go ahead and check what happened. Welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is SV. And I'm Roger. And welcome to Roger and SV Vlogs. So today, maybe you're wondering why there is rice and there's food. <laughs> um, today we'll be celebrating our 22k subscribers. Yeah, yes. thank you so much everyone for supporting us, for your help. We really, really appreciate it. Yes, but before anything else, lagan salamat sa inyong paghigugma o pagsuporta sa among channel. Thank you so much for your support and love, guys. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. And click the notification bell for new uploads or new videos. Yes, so we actually made... Um, lechon kawale very simple not really like presentable but it is what it is i'm so hungry right now <laughs> but before we start eating let me show you how we do it yes This is homemade lechon kawale. We have to wait 30 minutes to smoothen the meat. Okay, let's go ahead and check after 20 minutes. So now we still have 10 minutes before we transfer to the oil. Let's go ahead and check what happened. Mmm, there you go. So it's almost. Okay, that's the Filipino lechon kawale. So now let's go ahead and check after 30 minutes. Ooh. Transfer this to a plate. There you go. So far, this is the looks, guys. Yeah. So it's not yet done. It's not like lechon already so we have uh, things to do to make it really delicious
So we actually had a, a pretty nice trip going to Cebu, guys. I wish I could extend it, but yeah, sad to say no. <laughs> yeah, we don't have enough uh, budget. Yes. But we decided to go back um, in the future, so so that we can have like more time and can explore Cebu City. Yes, and of course. Uh, for the fair there, if you're from San Carlos, just to let you know, guys, and just to explain to you, um, the series or the bus is coming from Bacolod. There's no booking there. You cannot book online. It's a, a line. First come, first, first serve. serve. Yes. Uh, and that bus, once again, coming from Bacolod, and then you have to wait here in San Carlos City. And uh, it's either you want to go to the terminal, or you have to wait at the port. And yeah. before that, you have to uh, get the, the ticket. Yeah. So, um, that's what the reason why we didn't book, or we cannot book here a bus it's not the same as maybe manila or something i don't know if you can book book that buses there in manila but here in san carlos no uh, you need to line yeah fall in line then uh first we have you have to go to or we have to go to the coast guard to to get some like um small ticket or something that you are vaccinated and if you don't have um, a vaccination card or if you are not vaccinated, you can just get a uh, medical certificate in order for you to travel, to go to Cebu. Yes. So after that, you can um, get your ticket. And the fare going to uh, Cebu is 220 That's for... Um, AC? Not AC. I mean 240 for the tourist. Yeah, 240 for the tourists, it's that's already AC. 180 for actually economy. 180 for economy and 210 to for 220. 220. 220 for standard. And the standard is just, you, you're you outside. <laughs> yeah, you're outside and, you know, uh, if you want to just watch the ocean or sea, you can just have the standard or economy. Yes. But uh, since the travel time... If you uh, catch the light ferry or the barge, the big one, the travel time is more than two hours. So uh, yeah. much better to get the tourist uh, lounge in order for you to have. Yeah, you can relax. You can sleep there. You can. You're really convenient there. The difference between economy and standard, though, is economy. You're just sitting in a chair, while standard, there's like a bed, right? At the top yeah standard yeah uh, there there's a bed you can you can lay down yeah and uh, the tourist is air conditioned so that's it 240 240, 240 220 and then 180 yes so um, then going to uh, Cebu from Toledo City that's uh, you have to take a uh, van or a bus and th I think the the van is 120 30. or 130 because when we uh, uh, like go to Cebu, we uh, get uh, a taxi. Or we rode a taxi. Yeah. Because there's a taxi there, and the fare is only 150 pesos per, per head, head going there. Yes, and we are four adults and one toddler, so that's 600. We just provide a hundred more, an extra hundred, so that he would not be like. I, I think that would be fair enough for the gasoline, right? Yeah, and that's 
directly to uh, our um, like place yeah. that we like stay. Stay. Yeah, and In, uh, it's really good because it's really convenient if you need to take a van or a bus because yeah, it's crowded. While well, getting a taxi, you'll just you know together with your family. So it's it's good. It's fair enough. Yeah, and also why we choose Air Airbnb because you can cook. You yeah. can cook. Um, you can also, you know, store some food in the refrigerator. You, we know that there are hotels that are cheap. Cheap, yes, we know, but it's just a room. There's no refrigerator. You cannot cook anything. You cannot store food. So uh, that's the reason why we choose Airbnb. And uh, there is a nightly rate and also a monthly rate. So yeah. a there will be a big difference if yeah. you need, if you want to get the monthly rate well the price will go down or you can just you know ask the, the owner and yeah. uh, well for me I think it's good to have um, Airbnb or a condo stay because um, you can really save and then um, if you just stay like days or what uh hotel will be good yeah but for weeks or months condo is really good because what like you said you can store food you can store food you can cook. also cook um hotels are good for travelers because i would say that they're not staying there at the hotel mostly they're outside right yeah and enjoying food outside they're not cooking there so hotels are good so i think i'm hungry right now so let's go ahead and eat yeah before <laughs> anything else mag prayer muna kami prayers first guys um to enjoy god's blessing in the name father of the son the holy spirit amen thank you for this food oh lord thank you for the blessing and thank you for the love amen in the name of father the son the holy spirit amen, amen. thank you guys so let's dig in <laughs> ciao guys ciao <laughs> so uh we use our hands hands these filipinos use hands every... i don't think so if this is crispy yeah, I think it's crispy enough. Yeah, you need see. Okay. Mm. Mm. No, oh, that's very good. And Roger actually made this. The sauce and everything. It's really good. Okay, before we start, we have a. Beer. Good horse. Yeah. Because <laughs> this is really good. Yeah. Okay. So delicious, guys. I wish we could give you some. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So again, this is lechon kawali, a Filipino uh, dish. Yeah. So enjoyable, guys. Yeah. I know you're drooling right now. Yes. <laughs> Join us. Join us. La way, la way, la way. So it's all good. So delicious. Mmm. 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 Yeah. The sauce is really good. Yeah. And it's a must. And it's mm. a good to pair with beer. Yeah, red horse or you can have San Miguel. Mm. So guys, thank you so much for watching till the end. And I hope to see you in our next vlog. Bye! Bye.